Well, I would like to say it's good morning, but it is not a good morning here at the farm. I come out this morning to let the birds out, and this is what our house looked like. We're missing two. Our two late Chinese geese, Gabby and Gary. Gone. I think we got struck by the same raccoon that struck us before. Now I gotta figure out a way to secure this house a little bit better. I might also go on a little bit of an adventure this morning. Because if it is a raccoon, they usually just grab their prey, usually small birds, and run off to the woods to their nesting area. Then eat it. If that's the case, I might get lucky. Because considering if it took two at one time, that's quite the hassle to carry. So I might go over to the woods and see if I can find them. At least one. Or find the remnants. And that way I know where the nesting area is and I can do something about it. I have a trap. I'll probably catch and release it miles upon miles from here. I'd like to not kill it if I don't have to, but this is getting old. But I will let these guys out. Say so the ducks might even be staying in with you guys tonight. Yeah, so you better learn to be nice with them. I think that might be the best thing to do, is put everybody in one house. Got to talking already about being stretched and because of it, loss hits again. Guess I'll go on my adventure. I think it's just kind of a lost cause. These woods here are pretty thick, almost to where you can't even walk through them. There's no signs of any raccoon, maybe. Well, I did find a beer can that looked like something drug off and could be a raccoon, but I don't know. I found deer tracks. <laughs> But that's not what I'm looking for. Although, a deer's kind of been a pest too. That's what it's been eating all my corn and eating all my apples. But I don't want to trudge too far onto this ground because it is private property that isn't mine. And I am kind of a firm believer of private lands and rights on that. So I guess I figured if it, I've seen signs of it pretty quick, you know, it's hard to say what it done with them. And unfortunately, I, I see no feathers, no nothing, no blood. I mean, there there isn't even blood near the duck house to where I can start following a trail so it took them off live and I don't hear any cheeping or chirping either so knowing Gary he definitely let me know I thought we had that issue solved and apparently not anymore so I guess I'll join you guys back later on when we try to fix the issue of course I got a tight schedule this weekend I got a funeral to go to so that's gonna put a wrench in, in the plans but I'll still see what I can do but yeah I'm gonna look around the place see if double check make sure I don't see any blood and if I do restart the search if not I guess I'll have to set up a trap. Here come the geese again. What have you guys seen? They're telling me about it. They go that way, or do they go that way? They don't care. <laughs> they said we don't want any goose competition on the farm. Little do they know they got five more in the house. It's very possible it could have went that way. I mean, over there is a creek. It's hard to say. Unfortunately, like I said, no trail. Nothing to go off of. I see that the deer hasn't been the only thing eating my corn. Get out of there. I planted some more potatoes. That's what the black spots are. I tried to put some topsoil on top of them. Hey, get away from my corn. They don't care. They're geese, why would they care? I used to have a duck egg laying on that chair. And unless th Grace threw it out, I think the raccoon might have got that, so that might be good bait for her in the trap. It's worth a try. Hey, screaming. Poor Sunny. That's a good thing that she's getting used to the other ducks and the other ducks are getting used to her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I had to do a quick head take. I think I'm right. So there's 13 ducks in there. That's good. We didn't lose any ducks yet. You know, you guys are noisy. And frightful and... Yeah. They already don't know what to do with Gary. That's what they're cheaping for. What's the matter, guys? Poor little fellas. Lost without their leader. Oh, would you guys just leave me alone? <laughs> Love you, geese. Oh, here comes ducks. Say hi to Cat. Our indoor cat that is not allowed out here and his wife running away from me. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, she's hiding. She is steady hiding. Yeah, we don't want her out here too much because she's unfixed and I don't want any more extra little ones running around. But that was Cat. Our cat. Cat is her name. We couldn't decide on a name, so we just kept calling her Cat and that's what it became. My plan for tonight, I want to get the ducks into the big house here, which is going to be interesting because the geese, which are hiding behind the wheelbarrow, eating up all my corn still. The geese are going to stay in here tonight too, but since they haven't had direct contact with the ducks, this might be interesting. But that's okay, I'm willing to risk it. Although, worst comes to worst, it's either lose a couple ducks to raccoons or lose a duck to territorial geese. I don't know which is better. But first, I gotta fix the door because the bottom of it kind of fell apart and when I fix it I also want to round off the edge 
with a sander because especially when it gets on uneven ground it just does not want to shut that's kind of what led it to fall apart at the bottom but it's it's pretty simple quick just got to re-screw the bottom i'll end up taking it off actually and then sand up the sides so at least that's the game plan hopefully that'll fix our raccoon problem Really, definitely be wearing safety glasses for this, but it's what it is. I definitely gotta be careful with what I drop here. Really, don't want any screws in the lawnmower tire. So next on the agenda is cleaning out their house. It's kind of poopy. I kind of got behind on that. Them guys, they poop a lot. For three birds, that's a lot of poop. Hey, don't yell at me about it. I love you guys though. Oh, come here. I have to give them fresh water. I think the neighbor's ducks come over here because I let this open throughout the day. I think they came over here and drank it all. At least that's what I'm going to blame it on. All right, back to it. Well, I got the little house nice and cleaned up, fresh bedding. All I gotta do is move it to the front, take the big house and move it forward, probably a whole length. In fact, I'm actually going to try to turn it uphill a little bit and follow the same path I did with the chicken tractor there last week. Kind of get it towards the front yard and also a little closer to the house because I also got this doodad, wide box trap. I've never used one before, but I guess I'm gonna find out how to use it today. Doesn't seem too difficult. Put a little bait back here. Put the bait in, lift this back up, but press the rod forward, get rid of the safety latch. Once something comes in, it'll step on this plate, door slam, and it is stuck. I like this because it's very humane. I'm not trapping it by its leg or in a bloody manner or anything like that. It's just walks in to get something to eat and it's trapped. That way I can pick it up by the handle. Let's say as I go to work, I leave since I work about 20 miles away. About three quarters of the way there, just stop, just let it go. And I'm not gonna lie, after losing four geese to it, makes me want to end its life, but it really did nothing wrong. I know, some old school people be like, oh yeah, it did something wrong, it killed your geese, it killed your birds. Well, that's the nature of the food chain, unfortunately. That's the way it goes. And am I going to punish a creature that God put on this earth that would eat a bird like that? For no reason like it's just doing what it was on this earth to do it just happened to eat my birds and i have to deal with the consequences i'm not going to punish it by killing it if i don't have to so i'm just going to trap it take it off somewhere else let it go and i know you could make the argument and now i'm just making it somebody else's problem i could very well maybe however i'm fortunate enough to live in an extremely rural area most of my drive to work is in woods in fact a lot of it is it's not, uh, I'm trying to think what it is. State game lands. So it's protected. It's not being farmed. It's just natural wildlife area. It really shouldn't harm a thing if I let a ra raccoon loose there. But before I do that, I actually do need to check into the laws of Pennsylvania on trapping and releasing. As much as I want to let it live, I may come to the fact that the laws won't let me. You can trap an animal, but you cannot take it somewhere and release it. And that very well maybe some states are like that I just realized that earlier when I was thinking about good bait ideas I know some states won't let you do that it won't let you catch and release into another area so it'll be something that I have to deal with I just look around I see life life isn't always the most beautiful but it is always the most beautiful I say that because for a great example I come up here we don't ever see ducks as like a violent 
animal. I mean, look at them. What could they ever hurt? Actually, they're known to hurt each other. If you have too many males versus females, they've been known to do the dirty work and actually be harmful to each other in the process, which is terrifying to think about. But yet, look at them. They can do that, but yet they don't even want to be next to me. Geese. Everybody knows me. Geese is jerks, but the biggest one I got, I think it's a male. It'll come up to me. It'll want me to hold it. The friendliest bird I've ever had. These little ducks. The tiny little ducks that just run around and squeak and be funny. They had poor Sonny, the black duck, so scared that when I first introduced them to each other, the little duck was hiding in a corner and shaking so bad, I, I thought it was going to die of a heart attack. Literally. And they can do that to each other. So to be quite honest, a raccoon that takes my geese is kind of on the same level as said goose or duck. That's weird to say, and especially coming from somebody that came from a really conservative royal background. Even growing up, I have taken a few animals' lives because they've taken mine, but I've changed. I've learned a new perspective on life, whether it's an animal, a human, anything. It, life is fragile. And maybe I'm going off on a rant. And also considering I just had a funeral for somebody very close to mine today so I lost two geese then went to a funeral for somebody I knew fairly well maybe I'm just going on a rant because I've lost a lot of life today and I feel like I'm responding differently than most people are because of the circumstances I wish it was a better day but it might be a day that'll lead to a better future something like that I hope I, I motivate you guys maybe I'm just talking out out my butt and don't know what I'm talking about and I know there are farmers out there lost very close animals to them to another animal and probably will never share the same feelings that I do about this raccoon or anything else but God put every animal on this earth for a reason let's not be so quick to end a life one of those God-given creatures I know I'm speaking of God and some of you guys may not believe in that but if you're on the other side of the fence where you don't believe in that kind of stuff but I hope you guys realize life is just fragile it's it's worth something whether it's harmful or not i mean quite honestly what humans did to the planet whether you believe in global warming or not we've done some damage is that any different than a raccoon taking a duck or two or a goose or two for me i'd say no it's actually worse than that raccoon we got these ducks going wild anyways I got some more work to do, as in moving that big house up here-ish somewhere and then setting that trap. And I also got to figure out what I want to use to bait them. I need something smelly and I need something that raccoons like. I'm thinking egg covered in peanut butter. Well, half covered in peanut butter. Raccoons apparently do like eggs. They will kill chickens just to get to their eggs. And peanut butter, kind of smelly. And they like peanut butter. Every animal likes peanut butter, right? I don't know. I'm going to try it. But it, the big question is, where am I going to put the trap? Do I put it next to the birds, as in it has an easier food source instead of trying to dig into our house, or put it up there because it might expect there to be food up there, as in another goose? I don't know. It also depends on where it's coming from. If it's coming from up there, and I have it right here, it's going to go over to the old house first. I don't know. It's a guessing game. If there was tracks or some sort of blood this morning, I could easily set it up near its tracks or something of that matter, but it's a guessing game. So I think I'm going to set it up near the house because I do believe what attracts it is the peeping of the birds. They peep all night long. Not an extreme amount, just some, and that might be enough to draw it in. So if I pull the house up to here and possibly have it kind of at the corner to where it would be the closest thing to the woods up there and fairly close to the woods here and relative to the house it's worth a try right i don't want to lose no more birds it, it's hard every time painful so i gotta do something about it i'll see you guys in a bit turning these houses are not the easiest in fact i may just start trying to fish it up in between the trees and go that way around i think it'd be easier so it may be all right here time to set up a trap i was going to set up the trap first but looking at the dark skies I'm a little more worried about getting them moved over first because I have a feeling that a storm is coming. It is windy like crazy. In fact, it ain't even ba as bad now as what it was earlier. Time to move some ducks. What are you doing, ducks? I got the net out. There. I'd rather do this with two hands, so I'll be back in a little bit when I get all the ducks in the big house. Considering I just caught them all and brought them here, they're kind of a little skittish, but they think food's more important. But the hard part's about ready to start, and that's not catching them that's introducing the geese to them and supervise them for a little bit i don't even know if this is possible tonight 
in such a short amount of time. Two flocks of birds being introduced usually takes a little bit of time without one damaging the other, but kind of have no choice at the moment. So I guess I gotta go get the geese. Come on, geese. Time to go to bed. Come on, catch up. Come on, geese. Oh, they know there's something in their house. Come on. Oh, you're gonna be slow about it. Go to bed. Oh, you went around the house. Oh, this is gonna get interesting. If I stop recording, that's because I am grabbing a hold of a goose. Wow, they're not immediately going to attack. I'm actually fairly impressed. Considering it hasn't been too terrible so far. Oh, 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 I might, I might be getting premature. Uh-oh. No, so ain't. They're gonna have to establish their pecking order, but they're not being overly aggressive. So, I mean, yeah, they're pecking at them, but I think they'll be all right. Plus, the ducks move quick enough that they can... All right. Still scary thoughts. So now we're gonna have really frightful ducks. But what kind of makes me feel better is it seems like the geese are actually kind of scared of them when they're all together. All right. Yeah, it's never easy. I think they'll be all right. Poor little ducks are scared, though. This is for their own safety. You guys are going to protect them. You just don't know it yet. They're going to be a little protective of the food bowl at first, but such is the ways of the pecking order. I believe we have achieved peace. Well, maybe not. I was about to say, we went like five minutes without one nibbling at a duck, but now I'm talking, so they want attention. Either that or they want water and they don't want them to have any. I think these are the two female geese, and they're the aggressive ones. Hey, leave her big. Oh, my. You better be nice, Goose. You're gonna be her guardian. Make sure you let them have food and water. They probably feel threatened because we're, me and Grace are kind of taking up half the pen, so. Beep, beep, beep. Hey. This one's over here just chilling. Hey, whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now we got problems. Hey. Don't attack the duck. Whoa, look at We got chaos. They were being so peaceful. Now I start talking and everybody's going crazy. I think that's what they're doing it for. They know they got to put up a show. They'll be all right. They're not being extremely brutal. Maybe. Uh, let me go break up some geese and ducks. It'll be okay, ducks. Oh, baby. Baby. Okay. I got all 13 ducks. Oh, now they're running. I can see why the geese are scared. There's so many ducks. <laughs> Alright. You leave them big. Leave them big. They're being very dramatic. I'm not hurting them, I promise. Geese are like the crybabies of the bird world. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm just petting you, and you're so terrified. Oh, you poor geese. I'll let them be for now. I think they're all getting aggressive because I'm in here. I would like to make amends with you guys. Got strangers in your house. I'm chasing you around. You're being chased by ducks. What are you doing, goose? Come here, my baby. I got a goose. It's not screaming this time around. This is my buddy. He's my best friend. This is the one that usually lets me hold him. I kind of want to end it on a nice note with him because I don't want to lose my buddy. He's just mad because there's intruders in his house. Thirteen ducks and two humans. Can we achieve peace? Find out on the next episode of the Roaming Ducks Farm. Something like that. Can I be dramatic? Anyways, thanks for watching.